back to HiFed Tech and Entertainment Channel. In my previous video, already I showed you how to import the project from SAP system, then how to do edit, how to maintain the user interface variables, integrations and navigations, everything I showed you, right? In theming, if you want to do, you can do it. Now, what I will do is in today's pro in today I will explain you SAP build process automation. So in my previous video already we configured the SAP build process right now we'll click on create process here we have an option called build and automation process. Once you choose that here we need to choose business process then you have to give your here project name and description. Now what I will give is an purchase approval I will give this is the project name and give your description so based on your application you need to give then click on create once you click on create here the project will be created and it will open Here, once you log in it here, initially the pop-up will open. Here we need to give your name of the processor. Here I am giving as an purchase approval process. Approval process. Yeah. Then give the identifier name then click create so the processor will create and the pop-up window will be closed and in a project you can see an empty project with a start and end nodes so this is a start node and this is the end node here we need to configure the processor inputs so now you are going to configure the processor inputs so a processor inputs makes the decision based on the data sent it to when it's triggered so first already this one we selected here we have an expand option once you click on expand here you can see a variables config so once you click on configure here you need to add the inputs like this once you maintain the inputs let's maintain it first order id order id then total this one will be a number business part like this you need to maintain the inputs then click on save so apply once this is done you can see the processor inputs whatever you created it will be there now we'll create an api trigger so as you know the business process can start in a several ways either it's an api or event or form or schedule so now to add it now I'm going to add a trigger for that add trigger now I'll choose API trigger here we need to give the name for throughout please maintain the proper naming conventions approval trigger yeah click on create so this processor inputs are automatically added to a trigger now click the trigger block here and we can expand the side panel yeah see here we can see what things will be there everything now what you have to do is now we will release the project So to release here we have an option to release the project. 
click on save all now the project is releasing and it is asking the version initially i maintain initial version release now if you want to maintain it as an editable when you select this here save all yeah let's check already one version cancel here we have an option if you want to edit you can maintain is an edit mode like this now the final step what we can do is we'll deploy this option to our btp for our deployment in top section we can see the deployment mode option yes so this is our pro project version here we need to click on deploy once you click on deploy here it will show you an option public you want to show it is in public environment you can click on public then deploy so once you maintain that a pop up message will be there to show the complete project details and triggering everything final deploy now the project is deployed once it is deployed you can see here the status it is deployed and it is in active mode now go back to your sap lobby here if it's not open what you have to do is in your instance and subscription you can see that just refresh it yeah here you can see two versions are available two times i deployed right so two versions will be available now we will start a process instant how to start is go to your control tower once you go to your control tower we have an option called environments then select the public environment instead of public if you want to maintain only particular members also you can maintain it here here we have an editable mode option and you can see the deployment things and if you want to maintain any members that all things you can see it here this is the version level edit deployment so like this we can process your sap build automation and you can see all the deployments here itself so guys if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe stay tuned for more interesting videos and i forgot to tell you if you want to monitor the process also you can monitor it Thanks for watching.